What up, G's? It's your boy, Prophet74. Today, we're going to bring in the H150i Pro. It's an RGBI water cooling system for the GP, the CPU, not the GPU, the CPU only. So, we're going to go ahead and unbox it here and see what you guys get. Um, Corsair, you know, Corsair does some great brands all the time. They do great stuff all the time. Now, we're going all Corsair here. We're doing the water cooling system and a tower Corsair. So right now, we're just going to unlock this. We're going to open it up and see what you guys get when you purchase something like this. And this is another part that we're going to add to it. Now, RGB lighting is going to do a Christmas tree lighting. Pretty much that's how it's going to look like inside. But let's take a look at what's inside and what you get when you purchase something like this. All right. So first of all, we're going to open it up and see what we, we're going to need. What we're going to need to install this and what we're going to need to use this um, because... We're going to have to unlock it and see if the case has enough room for it. So just to make sure that a lot of cases, if you purchase this, make sure you have the right fittings for your case, you know, uh, or you're going to have to ch make changes on your case or you're going to have to buy a new case. So this is a pretty large one. It's a little large one. We're going to talk about how large it is. I mean, the box itself is like over 19 inches. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and go into details. Of what you get inside because the box don't get intimidated the box is pretty large but it just pops up the whole thing that's pretty much what it does so you get the book of course the books and the pamphlet and then let me move this out of the way let's get the box out with all the items out see they're all nice and neat let's get the whole thing out that's inside piece of resistance this is the actual um radiator that's going to cool off the whole water cooling system for it, for the actual cpu so we're going to see how many inches is it and we're going to actually take some measurements so on this one we're looking at close to um, 15 and a half actually a little bit over 15 and a half by a couple of centimeters you know so it, it's it's 15 and a half um and by four and a half a little bit more than four and a half you know just a little bit shy of uh, four and a half so it's not that bad uh 15 by four four and a half 15 and a half by four and a half i would say a little bit shy a little bit more over than 15 and a half so uh, all the specs are in this in the details of course you know so if you're gonna mount this make sure you have plenty of space to mount this you know because you're gonna require a lot of space on your tower so this is pretty much gonna take a lot of space and then on top of that you still have to add the the uh, the actual fans so just make sure the width it's going to be a little longer than what you would where i just read to you guys so remember the fans including the fans you're gonna have to add that as an extra so i'm gonna move this out of the way let's take this out uh like i said the cpu mount it always comes with a the thermal take already you don't have to add anymore people normally do add anymore but mixing it up is not you know it's not it's not something that I would do. I don't like to mix the different thermal because they 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 pretty much get uh, liquefied different, solitate different. So some of them might be cheap versions of it. So whatever comes with it, keep it on. And later down the line, in about a couple of years, when you see it start cooling off or something is overheating or something, you want to take it apart and maybe add your own thermal paste. But right now, go with the actual brand that came with. You know they have theirs they already have it prepared for you so you don't have to add any more uh, of course the fans the mounts for the actual CPU are included in here the fans they give you four fans and these are large fans I'm talking about let me see how I'm trying to get them out here first there we go these are the fans there's no RGB lighting in there. there's basic gray model gray and white or I don't know what color is this, but gray, I would say. One fan. Two fans. Three fans and four fans. These are all four fans. Um, they're pretty much set to go. Actually, there's only three fans. So I'm sorry. There's only three fans in here. I made a mistake. I thought it was four. Three fans. Pretty much to cover the whole um, setting. Nothing else is included in there. Just the case itself. We're going to put the plastic away. Let me set it up how it's going to be set up pretty much fans on one way they pretty much line up here this way uh make sure you look at the arrow where it's sucking out the air right 
so the there's a couple arrows on the fans itself on this one I can't even find it so it should tell you where it's sucking in or where it's not if not you could do pre-testing to also plug it in see where the air flowing uh, if you're not familiar with it but sometimes if you see the vents how they're sucking in and just spinning them around you can see where it's actually sucking the air and it's pushing it out so I get more traction on the air on this side when I actually spin it out that's another test you can do but always look for the arrows there's a couple arrows that tell you where the wind is gonna go in and how you're supposed to mount them but these are basic simple I mean all the all the setups are included in the manual so please uh, if you don't see the arrows or anything else find out where the actual connections are either in the back or in the front and the manual will explain to you if they're supposed to be in the front or in the back so follow the instructions before you prior to setting it up make sure you read the whole thing to fit it right in the front of it but there is a little casing in here that you have to it's gonna be a little draggy squeezing it in there but it's gonna be squeezed in there and this is pretty much how you're gonna fit it in once we tied it up in there um, the fans themselves we could add them in there or we could add them on the top either way we could keep them as it is and if you guys see let me see if I can put it in here so I ended up putting it right in the front and we already have fans in here I'm gonna add two fans in here I can't fit number three uh, not enough room for the last one in here so it's gonna be a little hard to jam it in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna as a spare oh, as a spare fan we're gonna probably mount it on the top on that one so that's pretty much what we're gonna do right now we're gonna preset up everything and of course you got to make sure this runs up where the GP the CPU is gonna be at so you may make sure that you are lined up correctly um, I do not want to put the the actual water vents on the bottom of it because it's gonna be hard to come out and then bend down so this is probably the best setup right here where we're gonna put it in now on the Corsair part right here where you see the Corsair part um, it doesn't have to be properly set up in, a di in the direction that you need, but I would prefer. So that's why I'm going to set it up properly like this. And you're going to see a little bent here, but the bent's going to be good. It's not It's not a big dramatic bend. It's actually just a smaller bend. So where the CPU goes, it's going to be simple. So right now we're going to pre-set up the motherboard for to acquire this, um, this water cooling system prior to setting up this stain. So... Here. See what the screws are? 